Hello everybody, welcome back to American Truck Simulator once again. Today we're checking out ATS 1.45 Beta and the new things it has to offer. We're in John Ruta's awesome W900 Highway Killer. If you want to check it out, I'll have it linked in the description below. Also going to be checking out one of Zmod's new Cummins signature engines. And I'm going to fire it up so you can listen to it here now. Very cool sounding engine. You'll notice I have a cistern trailer in the back and that is because you can now own those. That was added here in the 1.45 beta. We're in Sheridan, Wyoming, and we're gonna check out the new US 14 and a run of grain over to Cody, which is a new town they added in Wyoming as well. Let's get started. I do wanna say happy Tuesday to all you guys. Hope you had a great week so far. So good. We're gonna start rolling on out of here and actually I'm gonna follow it around. We have to go through Fuel Island to get out of here. It's just how they have it set up. And we're going to uh, pick the grain up just right across the road from this place actually, which is, man, that's a good sounding engine, isn't it? I'm gonna shut up just uh, around the corner here where we go through uh, Fuel Island so you can listen to the engine. And then we'll talk some more about what we can get out of 1.45. We don't have to uh, worry about the uh, uh, the icons, we have that working again, and then we also, you know, those those X's that are shown all over the map for the barriers, that's now an option you can turn off, which is really cool in 145 as well. So that's the reason why you're going to see these hashes right here. So I'm going to shut up. We're going to cross the road up here, and we're going to uh, go pick up some grain, but I'm going to let you listen to the awesome Cummins signature engine. Uh, this is a 600 horsepower engine I have in it right now, so I will shut up for you guys. sound isn't it yes it is indeed and uh i haven't turned off the barriers yet but i wanted to show you that whenever we get to it so that's the reason why i haven't if you saw it uh in there which i don't think you did i updated a lot of my mods including jbx the latest 1.45 um all the jazzy cat mods i tried to eliminate all the problems i could i still had one uh crash it might have been a one-off though and didn't make a whole lot of sense to me why it did that, so who knows. Picking up grain at this place. Going across the cattle guard here. All right, wonderful. Man, that's a big bump there. I have my motion platform V3 going on here today. Big thanks to Thrustmaster for sponsoring the hand cam here with the TSPC Racer. I'm actually gonna be changing that out very soon. Uh, they sent me a new wheelbase, which is the TGT2. Uh, and I'll be checking that out. If you want to check out what I use, uh, everything is always linked in the description below. You can check it out there. I know I said check it out like way too many times. Sorry about that. That's just, uh, that just happens like that. We need to go up here to this little box here. And we're going to talk to uh, people here at Kraft Heinz and go, hey, where do you want us to pick up the grain? So, we have reached your destination. yes, we have. Let's go ahead and do that. And looking at the cargo market there, it is grain, 21,500 pounds to Cody, Wyoming. Let's go ahead and take the job. All right, we talked to them and they want us just to back in right next to this lumber. So that shouldn't be too bad. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll just turn here and then we'll get a nice 45 degree angle. We'll be fine to back it right on in there. Because, you know, that's the fun part of, of trucking is backing the trailer so we got to do that right yeah of course we do all right there's that bucking bronco right up there in front of us all right on back we go 
into our little spot over here. You guys been doing anything cool this week? Excited for any games? Alright, on back we go with it. I don't want to get up next to this fence too much here without being able to see what we're doing, you know? Kind of hard to see that over there. Yeah, well, that's okay. I figured that was going to be screwed up anyway. Hard to see around the uh, the heat guard on that thing, so. Can you now be set up in a much better position here? Oh, yeah, just the other side of it. I see it now. No big deal. Did you catch the NASCAR race at uh, Nashville? It was really good. Um, and then it got uh, red flag for weather. And then I uh, I didn't watch it after that because I was like, oh, I think it's going to be postponed to the next day. So I went on and did my own thing. And then I, I missed the end of the race because I didn't know they went live again. I hadn't uh, checked my Twitter or something like that in a while. So that's what, uh, what happened to me. I didn't get to see the whole thing, unfortunately. All right, a little bit more that way, and we should be good right here. Let's forget I have that extra axle on there. It takes a little bit longer to, to back in, but that's all right. There we go. Green, they're happy with it. I am too. Pull that guy, and uh, we'll shut the engine off here. I love the sound of that uh, that turbo when it uh, whirls down like that. All right, they're loading it all up. Don't mind the time. I don't have the uh, time mod in right now. Uh, cargo's been loaded. Follow the route to the target company. You got it. Let's fire this thing up again so you can listen to how amazing this sound set is by Zmods. Without further ado, let's get rolling on out of here, shall we? Yes, we shall. Got all that green behind us. Make sure that trailer is good and good, you know, together. They didn't screw us up or anything like that. And they didn't. Well, I got to say, you know, it's not that bouncy of a road here. I mean, I can feel it a little bit here in the motion platform V3 by uh, Next Level Racing uh, is what it is. I have a motion platform. It's a seat mover kind of platform. That's a little bit more bumpy over here, I guess. Just a tad. Uh-uh. And I look around freely with Track IR version 5. And it's funny because this Track IR setup I have is from 2012. That's how old it is and <laughs> ancient it is. Isn't that crazy? So when we see those X's on the road, I'm going to jump out and show you the uh, option to turn them off so you can see it in real time rather than me just having them turned off and being like, just trust me, you can do it. There's the big cattle guard. Big bump, big bump. Let's try not to smash that right on there. There you go. Things a little bit longer than you think it is sometimes. All right. And of course, I'll uh, roll the windows up once we get going here too. Before too long. They also added the option finally to have auto wipers as the rain sensor in the windshield. You can turn that on too. Not expecting rain on this trip, but pretty neat that they have been bringing quality of life updates to American Truck Sim. And here's the Jake break. You heard it earlier, but I'll show you the different settings. You got high. And you got medium right here. And we'll go down to low. That's pretty good. That's a good sound on Jake. I'm gonna keep it on medium for right now. Turn left. Doesn't need to be too crazy, you know? Uh, left turn out of here. Nope, there's no uh, X's around here. Thought there might be. That's a tricky place. It's kind of strange how they had the uh, arrow going into the, the yard there, but then they were like, no. They didn't have an arrow to get out, so I thought we had to go through Fuel Island. I don't think we had to. Oop, can't find it. Grind it. Put it in second there, buddy. There we go. Now third. I am floating the gears. We're getting right on the highway here. 
for US 14, which takes us through the top end of Yellowstone, which is neat. So you go through Cody and then you have all the northern part of Yellowstone they added. Not sure how much of that we'll see today, but we'll definitely try to check it out. That is for certain. There's a truck coming. Do not want to pull out in front of him. That would be bad. Decker. Oh, he's going to be nice to us now. All right, dude. Thank you. Give him the old uh, train horn there. Business. Now we'll skip gears. And up to highway speed we go. We'll bring up our windows. And we're going to be exiting up here before too long to get on. US-14, unless this turns into US-14. I don't know. I haven't been over here before. This is all new. Oh, we have to stop. Wow. Okay. That really sucks. Roll the windows down again then. Yep. Got the old red dot there on our, our little thing. So we have to get weighed, unfortunately. Just the way she goes. Go you got it. A lot of y'all checked out my Skinwalker Ranch video, um, the helicopter tour in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and thank you for checking that out. It was a lot of fun to make. Um, and what's really cool is it uh, made pop culture reference in the wiki for Skinwalker Ranch. Everybody told me about that. I had no clue that that had happened. But after uh, doing all that, um, and we talked about it and a watch show and talked about the show and all that, started watching Blind Frog Ranch, which is really, really cool too. So if you haven't ever checked out Blind Frog Ranch, that's an interesting one as well. All right, trucks keep left. Yep, got it. Give a thousand foot interval. You got it. Let's make uh, the state of Wyoming proud of us today by actually obeying the law and pulling in to get weighed. Then we can get on out of here. No problem. Though I wish we could just kind of, we might build it. Let's try to do that. You know, they just kind of roll through these. Let's just do a roll through and see if it'll let us do it. I've never tried it. There you go. It does work. You don't have to come to a complete stop. It's kind of like they do in real life with uh, a lot of those stations. You just kind of roll through it. Oh yeah, we need to go around that a little bit longer there, buddy. That is one heck of a trailer that we have got there. Now I can always bring that axle up on that trailer too, if I need to, but I'm gonna keep it down since we're weighed down, you know? All right, exit this way. Go up into fifth gear here. Can't find it, grind it. Third to fifth is a, is a weird one sometimes. Okay. Turn left. Out of habit, sometimes I hit that clutch when I'm downshifting. Well, I usually just use the clutch at stop signs anyway. Let's make sure we're good to go here, and we are. That one a little bit better that time. Third to fifth. Now we get back on the highway. Roll our windows up here so you can listen to the engine sound without it being too loud here. After 50 yards, turn left. The Z mods makes such incredible sounds, and they're super cheap for what you get. Uh, and then you know, just using the F mod soundscape, it's just the engine, the sound engine. It's just so good. How different it can be just by rolling your windows up and down, you know. more of the interior sounds. Seven high. And then I have the wind sounds in there. Another sound mod by Zmods that's uh, free that gives you that kind of rushing wind. Yellowstone, Teton, National Parks up here. Very cool. 
You got it, dude. This is the exit. Oh my god, I pulled over. So you see those barriers right there? I'm going to show you something really quick. In options under gameplay, we roll down here to the bottom and you see show blockers. That's a new one they added. Turn that off and then we can hit X and uh, go back out. And as you can see now, those are gone. So you no longer have to have a separate mod for that. How cool is that? That's pretty neat. Let's crack that window there. Get some airflow in here. And we are going to be getting on the new US-14. I'm excited for this. Haven't seen it yet. Have not. Well, this thing has got it. such a powerful Jake. I'm going to go low on this one. It's a real smooth sounding Jake brake too. Engine brake. A lot of people ask me all the time, why do you call it a Jake brake? Um, they're just known as a Jake brake, but because Jacobs was the name of the company that was very uh, well known for making these engine brakes and uh, it's just an engine brake is all it is. Now we're gonna get stuck behind Schneider. I did not want it, that to happen, but oh well. So you got Graybull, you got Lavelle. Now check this out. They have the gates here for the winter time. This will all be shut down if it was, you know, closed. We're gonna be gear jamming up this this hill, that's for certain. Listen, you listen to the high end of this spectrum of the engine sound, so I'm gonna over rev it on purpose here. Sounds really good even at the high end, you know. Well, I thought we we're gonna be going up the mountain. We're gonna be going down it. Okay, so we can just go into our low settings of our engine brake, and we'll just kind of flip it on here in a second. Assist here with the slowing down. It's gonna be tight through here, especially with this trailer. So let's keep it all the way to the right. Just a little bit further to the right, there we go. Kind of hug that yellow line there with it without hitting the guardrail. This W900 is a beast. There we go, we're good. Now we're gonna be going up the hill a little bit here. Gotta make room for that trailer. I think we have a little place to turn off here and get pictures. I think there's one of those coming up for too long. So Bighorn National Forest is where we're at. I think I've already gotten this one before though in the past. No, this is all new, right? It just seems familiar. That's all. End up going up a mountain like this. This custom, uh, this signature has got a specific kind of tick sound to it. Hard to put my finger on what it is, but it's really neat. But yeah, that, uh, that 600 horsepower is doing pretty darn good here up this hill with this 21,000 pounds. Well, I guess it was 21 and a half or whatever. I don't remember. There we are, full speed, or full, full power there going up the hill. Five high. <laughs> Now we'll drop it into five low. Get this thing around here without hitting anything. I could have sworn I've done this one before, but that they just add on to four. No, that's not the case. I remember going up to that thing in the past. So maybe they added on to 14 or something new, but Co I know Cody's brand new and 14 is, so it could just be kind of a uh, deja vu moment happening here for me, but I thought we got a picture at this place before. It might just be very familiar to me for whatever reason. <laughs> 
So it's all right. We're not going to stop it. That one. Going right on around this stuff here. Scenic area. All right, now we get to see all the cool new stuff. Such a smooth, smooth transmission on this Ruta W900. Well, Z mods. You know, I'm not really sure how that works. If it's the truck, I think it's the engine. Or no, it's the transmission, right? Um, what author has to adjust those values? I don't remember. All right. So yeah, maybe that was. I'm getting lost now. Maybe parts of Wyoming start to blend together and I forget. But post a comment. Let me know if you remember me going down this road in the past, but I don't think so because apparently it's brand new. It's supposed to be. So I think it's just, I, yeah. I don't know. I'll stop talking about it. I promise. <laughs> I promise you I will. Let's sell it down up there in front of us. That's a cool spot. Uh, trucks parked. It's a beautiful drive, I'll give you that. This is cool. I believe this engine, or this uh, transmission, I think I have the retarder on this one. Pretty sure. I think that's what's happening here. Why the Jake seems so powerful. It's a shell creek. more flat through here. Get plenty of room right there, and we did. It's a little more technical than I thought it was going to be of a drive. All right, so it's 40 miles an hour up here. We must be getting close to Cody here. What does that say? That says Grable. We're in Grable. So I guess Grable has been added. That's new. Let's look at our map here. Go straight. And yeah, so then we go up north. I believe this is going to be the new part. I think we've been here before. And now we're going to get on the new part of it. But it's been so long since we covered Wyoming, I really don't know. That's why I'm having this weird, like, deja vu thing happening to me. Go straight. All right. 
we won't use our uh, engine brake inside the city limits to be nice. I'm supposed to do that anyway. It's outlawed in most of these places. We will turn right. In downtown Grable. Got the green. Sweet. So they said there's some uh, things along the, the way here. We'll see new, I forget the name of it, but it's stuff they're adding to Montana. So the way that they worded that makes me think that Montana is going to be the next state to be released. I think it's going to be Montana, then Texas. There's a new hunting game coming out, Way of the Hunter. I've been following that for a while and they gave a release date for that. That's going to be in August. August 16th or something like that. Very excited for that. And also excited for the Hunter's uh, Angler. The uh, the Angler, which is going to be the fishing game made by the same people who make the Hunter. Very, very cool. Open world fishing game. Uh, you'll be able to have boats. You can have four people on a boat. You can go on a fishing trip. Like, there's so many cool opportunities there that are going to open up. And I'm excited for it. Thank you, Mr. Red Pickup. Oh, and there's a Mustang driver just, you know, pulling out in front of us. No biggie. Don't mind us. That's a C-130 over there? Dude, there's a C-130 over there. What? I'd rather go use the fly cam to go check that out. I'm sorry, but you know me. I'm an aviation nut. I've got to get out and go get a picture of that. Not, well, I mean, RP that we're going to get a picture of it. We're just going to go look at it. Let's look at it. Let's do it. Wyoming Wildlife is where we're at here at this uh, rest area. And there's a plane in the background there. So this is an airport. We got a DC-3 and then looks like a C-130. We're going to walk down this way. Check it out. You got a DC-4 there, DC-3, and then that's definitely a C-130. And then another one over there. There's a plane doing touch and goes, a little Cessna there. And then check it out. There's the C-130. How cool is that? Very neat. There's another one there on the left-hand side too. Wow. That's amazing. All right, enough sightseeing. Let's get on out of here, shall we? Let's put this thing in second gear. We don't need to be rolling out of here in first. Don't have to. Won't have. Won't do it. Keep left. Keep left. We will. And we're going to be going into the evening time, it looks like. Why are you... Okay, I was like, dude... Please don't pull out in front of me. Let's get our lights on. As we drive into the evening time, I wanted to make sure that we would get a little bit of both here today, but Cody's only 17 out, so we'll be able to still see some stuff here along the way. Should be pretty neat. But more sightseeing. I'm gonna roll the windows down so we listen just to how amazing this engine sounds with this W900 cruising. Welcome to Cody, everybody. We made it here in one piece. There's an airport here on the right-hand side, too. So there's the Cody Airport. Got a little steerman out there. Some other airplanes. Very cool stuff, man. I love seeing these quality of life updates to American Truck Sim. Uh, you know, getting all... There's the airport there. Getting all this stuff updated to where we have more towns added to the map. I think that's so cool. And I really hope they you know, plan to do that with other states as well. Still says 55 through here, but man, look how beautiful this water is. Black Cat Fireworks Outlet. Gotta love it. Alright, let's slow down here. 
Be a 30 through here. You just hear those turbos whining down, man. It's so good. Z mods outdoes himself over and over again. He also has a uh, a mod for the Ram, so we'll be driving that Ram again before too long. But I want to get in a big rig. We've been driving the Ram, you know, the last couple times, so I didn't want to do that again today. Not to mention, I miss driving uh, the Ruta W900. Love this thing so much. So welcome to Cody. Looks like a Walmart over there. What used to be a Walmart. I don't know what that says. Oh, it's a YMCA. That's what it is. We're good on fuel. Don't need to stop the Chevron. Go straight. I missed that light. That was a short light, man. Some of these lights in this game are super short. Wondering if we have to uh, make a left turn or if that's a curve to the left. It looks like a curve. Stopped a little early here too. What's Indian Trails doing back there? Having some issues? That's what it looks like to me. It does, it does. I'm gonna go to the outside view, enjoy a little bit of a Cody uh, downtown and the, uh, the engine sound of this truck. Very cool to be down here in this little spot here. Something totally new to us. I'm just gonna run right through there, no problem. And we have a left turn again, and then looks like we have to make a right turn out of here towards those mountains is where we're headed next. So it's a 25 zone here. Very cool little downtown Cody. Go straight. The Supreme something there. Looks like a comic shop or nope, it's a little hardware store. Nice. A lot of mom and pop shops through here. There's Cody up there on uh, the top of that building right there when the flags must be like city hall or something there. Very neat. This is 12th street. So if you live in this area, there you go. Pretty neat that this is all here. Buffalo Bill Center of the west right lane. That's where we're headed. You got it, buddy. That'll work for me. And it's red. Now it looks like we just kind of wrap around and go all the way around this way. There's a center there. That's the Buffalo Bill Center. Yep. Center of the West. That is neat, dude. We're going to be in such, you know, we're in for such a treat whenever Montana and also uh, Texas release. We're, I mean, I'm, I'm just going to be more than happy with the whole map and the sim in general.
excited for Montana because I've talked about it in the past, but I used to live in Montana. Lived in Whitehall, Man Montana, outside of Butte. Um, so seeing all of that is going to be such a neat uh, trip down memory lane for sure. So I also did update the... Uh, oh, that's a Trino, isn't it? Yep. Um, I updated the real company's mods and all that stuff off of Grimes WordPress. You can always find that stuff on the SES forums. All the mods there. So that's why you'll see real companies involved with it. You know, whenever I um, was using the console, I had uh, kind of uh, warped to a place and uh, I didn't realize that if it was the camera was up too high, it'll drop down. So it dropped and it damaged the truck. I wonder if that has something to do with that ticking. But I think that's just the characteristics of, you know, of this engine. There's a Walmart. I was like, this has to, this town has to have a Walmart. There it is right there on the right. You better believe it. They also uh, did update the gas stations here. That's probably the reason why you're seeing some popping happening there, because it's replacing it with uh, all this stuff, you know, that I added. What is that? Is it a dog track or something? That's where we're going. This is the Cody Stampede Park. Oh, for rodeos. <laughs> That's why we're bringing grain over here for the rodeo in town. That's neat. Ooh, man, I gotta barely get around that. There we go. We're good. We're in town for the rodeo, everybody. Love that train horn. There he is out there. Ride him, cowboy. They're all having a good time out there. Bumpy road. So, yep, same place as we picked up. We're dropping at. Let's see where they want this thing on the left-hand side over here. It's probably going to be right next to that pods, I guess. No, a little further forward. We have reached your destination. Yes, we have. All right. Let's go ahead and drop this trailer. It's going to be up here probably on the other side of the step van, I'd imagine. Yep, I can already see the, the line right there for it, so... Actually, you know what we can do? We can kind of flip around. I don't think we can straight back this in, though. And we're still going to have to do a 45 on it, for the most part. We have plenty of room, though. That's for certain. On back we go. Remember, those, all those axles are going to... Turn that sucker a lot slower than you think it would. Oh yeah, that is. You know what I'm gonna do? Do what I was talking about. I'm gonna bring that axle up. Let's do that. There it goes. Now it's in the air. That should help us turn it a little tighter. Stupid heat shield, get out of my way, dude. Please and thank you. That's going to be tough no matter how we slice it. It's real close to that step van. I don't like that. Pull it this way. I can just hold my head steady. Jeez, man. This thing is pain in the butt. Track IR sometimes. That's going to be too much of a turn there. Boy, I really can't pull this trailer in today. I don't know what's going on with me. That's just not good. Oh, okay. We're good. We're gonna keep on coming back with it. That's all. Jeez, man. That is just a bad position. I, it's always been a problem with this, uh, this sim and these heat shields on these trucks. They really get in the way of that view. And sometimes it just gets annoying to deal with, but... We need to bring our trailer to the left more. Let's do that. About right there. It's going to be good. I 
That's nice and straight this time. There we go. That's where I want to be, right there. Just waiting for it to turn green. It's green. Yeah, good enough today. I'm very rusty. I haven't uh, backed a big trailer like this in a while, man. Been a while. Let's go ahead and unload and get on out of here. Okay, just kill the engine. And we'll find out what happened. We got an excellent grain delivered from Sheridan to Cody. 175 miles, 7 hours, 45 minutes, 45.3 gallons of fuel consumed. Not too shabby. I will show you my mod setup next. And here we are with the active mods on the right-hand side. All my JBX stuff in order and updated. I took the number three out. That was the uh, issue I had with the real time. And it was kind of messing up all the maps and stuff. So I uh, took three out there. But uh, you can see all the ones I have there. Used a realistic vehicle lights mod by FRKN64. Um, the mirror FOV icons is back in there. Real logos for John Ruda mods. You can get that on the Steam Workshop. Um, and then this is the municipal police traffic pack. All the Jazzy Cat stuff that you can get on ATSmods.lt. That's all right there. Uh, and then I have some other stuff. There's the truck physics mod I used by FRKN. Real AI traffic sounds ATS. Uh, that's the latest version. Uh, it hasn't made a, a new version for 144 or 145 at all. Here's all the free uh, stuff for Zmods. Zmods free sets. Uh, and then down here, we have the interior packs. Uh, and then getting down here, we've got uh, all the engine sounds. The one you heard today is that one uh, right there. The Cummins Signature 600 sound and engine pack. Very cool. Uh, then we got uh, all these in here. All of my sounds are all together. And then down into uh, SISL's Trailer Pack USA, which uh, might be outdated by now. I'm not really sure. I didn't have any problems with it today. So uh, there's that. And then we have some uh, skin packs there in and uh, working fine. Moving down, had uh, some trailer stuff there for, uh, that's for the other one. Forget the name of that one. But uh, anywho, <laughs> there's all the trailer packs from uh, Bart. And then with, these are all the, the ones from, you got John Ruta and then all of Bart stuff here. All payware. Trailers. Uh, here we go. We got the uh, trailer pack add-on, SES replacement. Then we have realistic corner shop. Real gas stations, revival project, real companies, and trailers pack version 2.3. And then here's all the wheels I have right there. Skins for trucks right through here. And then the payware trucks down here with John Ruda's classic XL. There's the Ram. Uh, all sorts of cool stuff down here. Uh, payware trucks, payware trucks, payware trucks all the way down. And then uh, we get to the bottom. And I just have the real world billboards. I uh, replaced the real world advertisements with that one right there extra noise and that's pretty much it there's the uh, other truck the peterbilt 388 i used uh the, the rotator and the accessories for it and all that stuff so that is my mod setup how i have everything working uh it works out pretty darn good for me but i'm gonna go ahead and call it there let me know what you thought of ats 1.45 i will see you guys next time take care